Okay, so how many out there are terrible at algebra? So if uh, we had to take like a census or a survey, uh, the entire population, I'd probably say like 90% of uh, adults would say, oh yeah, I'm terrible at algebra, or I was good at algebra, but I hate math, or whatever the case is, but probably more people, okay, the majority of people would say, oh, they're not good at math, or they're terrible at algebra, especially those word problems and all that crazy stuff. But uh, listen, you know, if you think you're terrible at algebra, well, that's one thing. But what if you're a math student? What if you're actually taking algebra? Can you afford to be terrible at algebra? No, you cannot. Okay, if you're a student, can't afford to be terrible at any particular subject. Uh, so what I'm going to talk about in this video is how uh, we can turn this around. Okay, how we can go from a little sad face to a nice happy face. But uh, in order to do this, you have, you actually have to believe that there is hope for you. Okay. Even if it's like 0.000001% chance of you improving, okay, you personally have to believe that, right? You have to think, all right, maybe there is a chance for me to get better at algebra. And, you know, deep down inside, we all kind of know, you know, secretly, if we, if we want to get better at anything, we can, okay? So, but I'm going to give you some concrete, specific uh, steps here that you can follow to start turning your algebra situation around. Uh, pretty quickly. Okay, so stick around if your situation is you are convinced that you are terrible at algebra or any other math course you might be taking. All right, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a uh, middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Now, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, uh, pre-calculus. I'm getting a lot of demand out there. I'm going to be launching that within a matter of days. If you uh, need pre-calculus immediately, uh, just go to my website. Again, you can find the link in the description of this video and drop me a line. I'll give you a, access to a beta version of that, okay, because there's a lot of people that need help in pre-calculus. It is a pretty advanced, challenging uh, math course. Uh, but I also do a lot in the area of test preparation, like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACCUPLACER, CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, maybe a nursing school entrance exam. There's a ton of exams, and guess what they all have on them? Mathematics. So if you don't do well in the math section, you don't do well on these exams. So I can help you out prepare for those exams. Um, I also uh, do a lot with homeschooling. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. And then obviously help those of you that are having a tough time in your current math courses. Now, and normally, okay, I do this little uh, bit about note-taking in my videos. If you've watched some of my other videos before, uh, one, thank you for that. And two, you know that I emphasize notes. But I'm going to talk about notes in, uh, in this um, little video here separately. So uh, the bottom line is this. If you need some uh, math notes, you can. I'm going to leave some links to links to my math notes, which would include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry in the description of this video. But I'm going to talk about notes um, specifically in this video along with some other things, okay? All right, so let's talk about how we can get you to get a uh, smiley face when you're dealing with stuff like this. All right, so terrible at algebra, let's get into this. So first of all, uh, let's just take a look at your kind of math uh, history, right? So if you're taking algebra, most people take algebra right about here, okay, um, at the end of middle school, but really the majority of you, now the beginning of high school. Now, that's when you are uh, kind of growing up. So we all go through elementary school, middle school math, and then high school math you know, generally starts off with like algebra one, and then we continue on with geometry, algebra two, you can go into pre-calculus or statistics, and then when you're in college, you can take like calculus, Etc. Uh, Etc. Et now, uh, some of you might be taking like a college algebra course, which would be you know like an algebra two version um, in college. Okay, and that if that's your situation, this is very uh, this is a tough course for a lot of people because what they do is they take what you normally uh, learn in one year, okay, in high school, and they compress it down into one semester. Uh, but it's effectively like taking Algebra 2 in one semester, and a lot of uh, students, a lot of college students have a tough time with college algebra. But uh, listen, I have a great college algebra course. Again, you could just go to my website and check that out if you need help with college algebra. But let's get back to 
um, you struggling in algebra. You're terrible at algebra. This is typically where you're taking it. Okay. Now I, I did all this for a reason. Okay. If you're terrible at algebra, I almost guarantee you, you were having a tough time in math through your middle school years. Okay. And you probably didn't like math or, or struggled with it in your elementary school years. Okay. And so the first thing you need to recognize is that if you're, 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 you're having a tough time in algebra, it's because you already have had, you know, a tough time in math, most likely. Okay. And not, this is, you know, I'm speaking in generalities here, but for the most part, students who are having difficulty in algebra, you know, uh, were already kind of show, showing signs of struggling in their middle school years. Okay. So if you want to turn yourself around in algebra, you're going to have to go back and really uh, strengthen these skills that you were supposed to be learning in middle school and elementary uh, school. Okay. Now, really, you can't go back and relearn everything, but you have to get the foundations right. But you can't do any of this. Okay. You can't go back uh, and do any of this unless you have a different mindset. Okay. Let me talk about this real quick. Right now, most of you are struggling in, in algebra or math. You're like this. Okay. And here is what's going on in your brain. You have this like mental picture. You're like, look yourself in the mirror and you see this person that is just like, you know, like those, like the worst math person. This is what you're seeing of yourself. Okay. You're like, I can't do this. Uh, you know, I'm terrible at math or whatever the case. Now, most people are thinking this way or you're frustrated. All right. You're going to have to break this image. This is not you. Okay. This is what you're projecting and whatever you project out from your brain, you're going to actually get back in reality. So the first, very, very first thing you need to uh, stop doing is you got to stop thinking in terms of this. All right. This is a, like a negative feedback loop. Okay. You're thinking negatively. So guess what? You're going to get more negative back in your life. So how do I change this? Okay. So what do we need to do here? Um, well, you need to start thinking like this. Okay. You have, you basically have to start saying the word, I can do this. All right. I can do this, which means, okay, just start saying that to yourself. Okay. I can do this now, but how is this going to be done? Well, it's going to be done by really putting in the work and doing one little steps at a time, okay? You're taking one tiny little improvement at a time. That's it. If you're looking for like a silver bullet solution, in other words, okay, um, is there like one little thing over here I can do that's going to like dramatically help my algebra grade? Mm, not really, okay? If you're really, really terrible, if you really are struggling in algebra, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go back and you're going to have to work on strengthening your foundation um, back here, all these skills that you were learning. This is our, this is the first place you want to start. Okay. But right now you're trying to maybe take algebra and, uh, you know, uh, catch up, you know, or, or trying to pass a, a test, you know, on systems of equation quadratic equations. And you're like, okay, I'm just overwhelmed. I can't do this. Well, here's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to work above and beyond what you would normal of like a student who's already doing well. Okay. To go back and relearn and strengthen these foundational things. Okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to tell you, you can absolutely turn your math situation around, but you're going to have to be committed, uh, to doing so. Okay. Is it going to be easy? Well, no, not initially. You're going to have to put the work in. I mean, that's why, at least for me, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, be honest with you. Okay. Uh, and why you did poorly back here, don't be too hard on yourself. Okay. This is, this can happen for all kinds of situations, all kinds of unique, uh, situations that can be going on that can get a student, you know, in trouble in math way back in your elementary and middle school days. But forget about that. That's the past. You can't do anything about it other than strengthen the skills that you need to strengthen. So I'm going to give you a specific list. Okay. Uh, to, uh, for most students, I would work on these skills initially. Okay. So you're in algebra. We're talking, we're talking about algebra. The first thing I would, uh, focus on. Okay. Well, this is a kind of quick uh, list is fractions. Okay. So I would work on fractions. Make sure you know fractions. Most students, uh, will say this. I know that. I know that. I know that they say this. I know that. Okay. And I probably heard that about a hundred million times over decades of teaching math. Guess what? 
99.9% uh, .9 of students who say this word a lot or say this phrase a lot, I know that, I know that, I know that, they don't know that. They don't know, know that, okay? So you don't know things as well as you think you know them because if you did, you would not be terrible at algebra, okay? So uh, really, you have to verify this, okay? So stop saying, I know that. What you have to go back is to uh, brush up and verify with complete certainty. Oh, yes, I've uh, verified. In fact, I... I'm an expert at this. So these are the skills that I want you to really go back and start with and just do the best you can in your current um, algebra course. And remember, you can you get my course as a supplement. But start with fractions, okay, because this is a typical weak spot for uh, students. Um, another one is uh, the order of operations, all this PEMDAS stuff. And I have tons of videos on this on my YouTube channel. Of course, you can just take my algebra course, a pre-algebra course to brush up on this. But the order of operations is another one, okay? Another classic weak area for students that if you don't have this, okay, these foundational skills, you are not, you're gonna be terrible at algebra. In fact, you will have a tough, a very tough time at algebra if you don't have these skills down 100%. So let's go ahead and verify the, uh, your skills here. The third thing would be your positive and negative number rules, all right? So many students, this is easy stuff. All this stuff is fairly easy. And I have uh, excellent videos on this in my pre algebra playlist on my YouTube channel. But these are classic areas. I've seen students, um, you know, way back in the good old days. When I, if I would tutor a algebra student, I would first go, okay, show me you could do some, you know, I would give them a little pop quiz, fractions, order of operations, positive and negative numbers. Guess what? 90% of those new students that I was, you know, working with, you know, are, are struggling with these topics. Well, guess what? You can't do algebra unless you know this stuff like 100% perfect, okay? So you need to go back and start with this, okay? Now, the fourth thing I would do is after this, start with basic um, algebra equations, okay? Uh, basic linear equations, get this down, okay? So if you focus on these uh, four things first, okay? Kind of in this order, more or less, all right, uh, and you got these strong skills, we're already, you're going to start improving in algebra. But you can't do any of this, all right? Uh, you can't do well in any math course unless you have the discipline uh, to succeed, okay? In other words, uh, you have to be committed to do the work. So now this is where I'm gonna talk about notes. Let me erase a little bit of this. Okay, so after you've changed your mindset, and hopefully, you know, you have done so, you know, I've done so many crazy things in my life that I've thought that I couldn't uh, have done. One of the things that I've done was join the Marine Corps when I was 17 years old. And uh, that was before I really knew what I was getting myself into. And you uh, find out pretty young, okay, that <laughs> you're going to be challenged beyond your wildest dreams. And, you know, I did a pr pretty crazy stuff that I thought I couldn't do, okay. But when you accomplish uh, things that you never thought you could, okay, your confidence goes up like a hundred, a uh, factor of a hundred, okay, and you start believing in yourself. That's what you're going to have to start doing, and it's going to be one little problem at a time. You're going to have to show yourself that you can solve a problem like this, or you're like, oh, right now, this might be too difficult. You need to start proving to yourself, like, okay, I actually can do this, right? And as soon as you start changing one problem at a time, one skill at a time, start changing your mental, you know, um, uh, thinking, your pattern, everything is going to get better, okay? But along with that, you're going to have to change the way you, um, you know, conduct yourself in class. Probably the most, for the majority of you out there, that are having a difficult time in algebra, in math, I can tell you right now, because I've been doing this stuff for decades, is your notes are not that good, okay? Your notes are not that good. And why would your notes not that be good? Because you're not really that focused because you already have this predetermined mindset that, you know what, I'm already bad at math, so what's the point? Eh, I'm not going to just, I'm just going to like do whatever uh, because I already know I'm bad at math, so I'm not going to do the work to try to take good notes and be engaged or be interested in what the teacher is saying. Okay, well, again, this is that negative feedback loop and you will, you know, obviously get poor grades in math and, uh, you know, you're likely won't be able to pass algebra. So what I need you to do on top of everything else is to start be becoming a professional student, okay? So what's a professional student? One that is completely engaged with the teacher of what they're teaching, and you're writing it down, and your notes are awesome, okay? Completely comprehensive. You can study from your notes. They're amazing. That's the first thing. The second thing is 
uh, uh, being a professional student, as you take great math notes, you need to be engaged with your math teacher. Like, raise your hand. Do like this stuff, right? Like, hey, uh, uh, Mr. Teacher, I don't understand what you just said there, okay? Like, be that uh, person that constantly raises their hand, <laughs> you know? If you don't understand, like, write it down, talk to your teacher, okay? That's that's your first thing that you need to be doing. You need to have that, that dialogue, that communication. If you're doing that on an everyday basis, things are going to get better for you. Then go get extra help with your math teacher, okay? This is the first thing. If you're terrible at algebra and you're a student with an actual teacher right now, you absolutely need to go to your teacher and be like, okay, Mr. Teacher or Mrs. Teacher, I need to uh, I need to figure out. I need, I need math help. I need to turn the situation around. What can I do? You let them give you specific uh, guidance. But I'm telling you right now, uh, for the most part, most of you out there, if you, you need to go back and verify that you're, you know, you have uh, pretty strong, you know, very, very strong, absolutely perfect skills <laughs> in these basic areas. That way you'll have a super strong foundation, okay? You'll have that strong foundation of what you can build like a little algebra house on top of, okay? And I can just tell you right now, most students, they struggle because their foundation is weak. It just makes sense, okay? But again, um, you out there that are convinced that you're terrible at algebra, I'm telling you right now, you're not terrible at algebra, okay? You are not, that is not your potential. What you're terrible at, okay, is uh, your your planning, okay? It's your mindset that's kind of, you know, messing you up. So you got to ask yourself, what is your goal? And you got to be convinced that you can do it. There's that old saying, whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, Either way, you are right. And that is so true, not only in mathematics, but in life as well. And what's so, uh, for me, um, why I'm so passionate about this is that if you give up on your ability to learn math, okay, because it's difficult, well, then what else in your life, um, what, you know, might you give up in? Okay, just because it gets difficult, life is challenging. <laughs> you, and I don't know how many years on planet Earth you've lived, but I've lived uh, quite a few. And no, you know, life is going to give you um, curveballs. Okay, so whether that's math or some other, you know, health situation or any other kind of situation, you got to really kind of rise to the occasion. So you can be great at algebra. It's really a choice. Okay, but does it require work? Absolutely. Does it require commitment? Yes. Okay. So. But anyways, I'm here uh, to deliver this message that, no, no, you're not terrible at algebra. Your current condition is that you need to go back and, you know, uh, you need a game plan. You need to start working extra hard to get caught up, okay? But you can uh, be walking out the door with this A-plus in your algebra class, and I'd like to help you do that. Now, my goal, my mission is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. Now, I didn't teach any math here, but if you are new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing, but I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have a thousand plus videos basic to advanced math. My Again, my goal is to try to explain things in a clear and understandable way. So if you need help, which obviously you do, let me help you, okay? Or find someone else that can help you, but go get help, all right? Start with your teacher, start to, uh, with your math notes. But uh, if you really want to uh, get my best math help, then that, of course, would be within my math help program. And if you are taking a specific algebra course, whether that be uh, pre-algebra, algebra one, um, algebra two, uh, or college algebra, intermediate algebra, um, I have all those courses and many others. All right. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please consider smashing that like button. Again, you know I'm probably uh, running on. I probably don't want to stop this video because my message to you is, um, you know, please. Don't just settle for being a, you know, like a mediocre math student. Okay, math's too important. As I said, you know, there's so many exams. There's so many areas in life where, you know, uh, we need mathematics. Okay, and I can help you improve. That's my goal. All right, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics journeys. Thank you for your time and have a great day.